Hello everyone. Uh, please pardon the fact I'm not going to be doing my usual giggle intro speech spiel that I normally do when I do an LP. But today is probably a first my channel. I will be doing an LP and it is not for once a Dragon Age game, which is very confusing to me. If, if you read the title, today we are going to be playing a little Doki Doki Literature Club. As you can see from the screen we're on right now, there's some data already saved, so this is not a blind LP. However, I have not completed all paths, and that's more what I'm here to do today. Because I've done a little bit of research. And this game, it's an experience. And it's an experience I think I'd like to share with the channel. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yes, please does eat. Desit? Next desit. Yes, please delete my existing data. Deleting save data. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. It's really not, people. I am warning you now, get out if you don't think you can handle this. Do not let the cutesy art in name fool you. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit this website that I'm not going to attempt reading because it, I'm really honestly not that good at reading. Well, I'm good at reading, just not out loud. <laughs> Which is going to make this game challenging. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. People... This is warning you, and I'm also warning you as the one LPing this, if you are not 13 years or older, please stop watching. Thank you for finding my channel, though. You're awesome. But, um, no, th this will not be an LP for you. Or, you know, if you have depression or anxiety, I will say be your own judge if you can handle it or not. I know I have anxiety issues, and... Yeah, this, like I said, this is, yeah, this is an experience game. It's not so much a, air quotes, fun game. But knowing what I have signed up for, I agree. This game is not suited for children or those who are easily disturbed. Again, warning, people, warning. Please feel free to go now if this is something you don't think you can handle. This game can be very, very disturbing. Which is part of why I want to LP it. And now I need to do some things for one moment. Okay folks, here we go. Starting of a new journey. New game. Please enter your name. Sadly, this game, you don't get to pick if you're a boy or a girl, so we're going to have to go with a boy name. And just say Bob. This is Bob. Yes. Yay! Question mark named. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, and out of character, my apologies people if I butcher these names. I just don't know how to pronounce them better, so this is my best shot at pronunciation. My apologies. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Well, that's not very nice. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Uh, again, it's not very nice to say. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk to let Siori catch up to me. <laughs> yeah, Siori's not my favorite of the girls, but strangely enough, eh, you'll see. Never slept again! But I caught you this time! 
maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Snarf. <laughs> That's mean, Bob. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can be plenty mean. Whatever you say, Sorori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled father students making their daily commute. By the way, Bob, you just said in a club to join me up. A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining clubs. I haven't been looking, either. Eh, that's not true. You told me to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with her, she's going on about. Sorry looks a little... Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly content to just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. I also like games and anime in my free time. They're fun. Uh-uh. I was talking about how worried I... that you weren't... Yeah. Sophie, learn words. I was talking about how worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Siori, down girl. And I know you're happy now. I the thought of you becoming a neat, a neat, in a few years before you're not used to the real world. That's nice. Please stop worrying about me. You trust me, right? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think I do. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Oh, Siori. No. All right, all right. Well, look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised to even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <laughs> yeah, I know I know nothing about that condition in the real world. I know everything about it. The school day isn't ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. I know those days. I remember them well from school. Love. Try wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sorry. Sorry, I must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Quick, chew off your arm! Escape! I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Darn it, I could be watching anime right now! I you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in! <gasps> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's going to make you late to your own club. This not go away. <laughs> well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Oh, well, that you could come join my club. Sorry. There's no way I'm going to your club. Hmm. Meanie. Happy face. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Okay, here's the thing. Real world me would totally be down for a literature club if if it had existed when I was in school. But my high school was not exactly a choice for non-sports extracurriculars. I mean, if you want to play a sport, they get you covered, me not so much. Again, I, I would join the Quietly Resting Club if they let me. And I 
I do like to read, so... Go join the Literature Club, Bob. Even I am rooting for this. Not that I was even aware that she had an interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. Ken, what's wrong with that? It, it shows you have initiative. And that's a good thing. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. Again, it, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look good in a college transcript and... Uh, just saying, Bob, TikTok. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Oh, Bob. Unfortunately, you're being played by someone that likes literature, so... Too bad. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Laters. Come on! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of took the club yesterday to bring in a new member. And Nazuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to make planned all... As she... Cunning as to have planned all of this out. I know how words are pretty. It's gonna be a long LP, people. Settle in. I let her along sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And he proceeds to get his arm drinked out of the socket. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Yeah, he should have held that for muffin. Muffins are superior to cupcakes. Just I am. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used by third-year classes and activities. Siori, full of energy, swings open the door to the classroom. I'm aware that's not what the words on the screen said. Everyone! New member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? I glance around the room. What voice should I give her? Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry, always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Oh, it's okay, pink haired girl. It's okay. We're cool. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> Bob, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. Dot, dot, dot. All words escape me in this situation. I'm being attacked by anime cliches. I would be speechless too. This club, it's like I said, it's full of anime cliches. It's full of incredibly cute girls. I mean, anime cliches. I think it's cute girls, don't get me wrong. But, you know. <sighs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. That was okay. Ha! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nazuke, is one I don't recognize. How can you not recognize pink hair and pink eyes? Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. So a freshman, cool. She's also one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. Just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nozuke, always full of energy. Uh, no, Sorry, you're always full of energy. And this is Yuri, smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears uh, terribly more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sorry and Nozuke. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. It sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Bob. Monica smiles sweetly. We didn't know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, an anime character. 
basically completely out of my league. Hey. You know. I think everyone in this club is out of Bob's league, let's be honest. So I don't smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Uh, you, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Bob. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I, I get a little too excited. A story, everything makes you a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, it's been wine, so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuke and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuke grabs a wrapped tray and reopens the closet. Are you saying Yuri's in the closet? Just no, I'm pretty sure Yuri on ice with guys. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuke proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuke lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little kitty cats. I know it just says cats, but I like kitty cats better. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. That That is freaking adorable. Why could we not get art for this, people? I'm just saying, just throw the cupcake picture up in the middle of the screen. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at make, baking, that's okay. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Story grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Story talks for a mouthful, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuke is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Wait, what's in this? If this is laxatives, we're gonna have words. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuke. Or however you pronounce your name. <laughs> Why are you talking, thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Siori said... Well, maybe... Not for you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuke's word logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, does the hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, yeah, actually for me it really does. Better coffee. Actually, any beverage really. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. Yuri will remember this. I meant that, you know... I believe you, said the Bob. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. It is for me, Bob. Shush. Here we need some options, darn it. But I at least enjoy tea. I also enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. And Monica continues holding her same possession, with the same expression, never changing. She has a cardboard cutout and does not realize it yet. But, I mean, meanwhile, the text boxes. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? In other words, why are you in my domain? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... Think smile? <laughs> That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. 
will make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the Bay Club last year? Wow, she is. She has all gold up. <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics from major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing and budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. And I just really want to slack and read books, so I can respect that, Monica. I'd much rather make something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And again, I can respect that. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Again, I can respect that. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. I mean, come on, you, you do have a lot of hot girls. I'm just saying... Yeah, this dawns me of something, guys. We join just because they know girls are going to be here. It must be hard to start a new club. <laughs> yeah. I could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Okay, as someone that really likes to read, I call shenanigans of that. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. This is true about most things. And these are not skills I possess in the real world. But it makes school events, like festival, that much more important. Yeah, well, I went to school, we didn't have festivals, so, meh. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yay! We'll do our best. <laughs> you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Except for me, because I'm stuffing my face with cupcakes and eyeing that door. I think I can still make the anime club if I hurry. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must work really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know what I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Sabab, so what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um... Ah. Uh, Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. Um, manga? Hey, nothing wrong with that. I mutter quiet to myself, half joking, which means half of it is at least true. Natsuke's head suddenly perks up. She heard a dog whistle. I mean, no, that, that was not nice, I'm sorry. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I mean, yeah, just give me the right material. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, she is queen of sad smiles. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that fill deep and complex fantasy worlds. Hey, I like those things too, Yuri. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. I'm telling you a good story of such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yeah, it really is. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Yeah, I, I can relate. But you know, I like a lot of things. No, you don't. Don't lie. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. That was a weird segue. Um, I read a horror book once. <laughs> I did. I, I really did. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. 
No, she has a conversation in books, dude, where you're not paying attention. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or makes me, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Now it's because... Ah. Excuse me? Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. I looked at it. Looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud. And give that back. I'm fine. Hehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Yuri sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Oh, are you two together? I mean, that'd be cool. I think you two would make an adorable couple with your pink and peach hair. I'm just saying. I, I will not judge. I'm not cute! Yes, yes, you are. You are freaking adorable. You cannot be more cute if you try. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not very confident writer yet. Ouch, Bob, tact. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. This is true. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing the deepest reaches of your heart. Yeah, I tend to agree. Do you have any experience here? Maybe you share some of your work. You can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I'm not at all being pushy. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Dude, it's the same for everybody. Aww! I want to read everyone's poems! Oh, Sierra, you're not getting the point. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. It's one of my ideas. They're fabulous. Natsuki dot and dot question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our own. Because we do not have homework in this country. Or this world. I don't know. Because, you know, homework. This is school. The next time we meet, we'll all share with each other. My plan's great. <laughs> that way, everyone is even. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Uh, um. Da, da, da. Yay! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. And I'm not at all pushing it because it's just my idea. Isn't that right, Bob? Monica smiles warmly at me once again, not at all using her feminine wiles on me. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? You dare question your alpha? I mean, do you not know how this works? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I'd bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I'm here for the cupcakes, then I'm going to the anime club. Later. I never said I'd join this club. Siori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Is my train of thought. Yes, with all the enemy eyes upon me, I don't blame you. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, poor girls. Uh, but, but I'm the 
helpful. You're, you're supposed to obey me. Th that's how this works. I'm sorry, I thought... Ha! Um... Y you all... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. They're telepaths! Run away! How am I supposed to make clear-headed decision that's like this? Wait, you girls all have enchanting gaze. Did you take that? Are you all provocateurs? Is this Pokemon Unlimited still? Gosh darn it. Actually, Yuri does kind of look like Noir now that I think about it. She really does. And okay, in case you didn't get those references, I am part of the tabletop campaign over on the Angel Arts' YouTube channel. So that's where those references are coming from. I might make them occasionally. So my apologies if you don't get the joke. I will actually link to the tabletop in the description. It is, it's been a fun experience. Well, it's been an experience. That is, if writing poems is the price you need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, they're not that hot. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh dear, Bob. Oh dear. You poor, poor martyr, you. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Yuri, you... Sorry. Siori, you have no other emotion. What are you talking about? Siori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down, which I'm sure Bob did not enjoy at all. <laughs> hey! You really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Oh, Natsuki, you're pissed about everything, let's be honest. <gasps> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess? 